why is it that seeing enlightenment or seeing the truth has a transformational effect on a human being? It seems like people who have these direct experiences then have um, a transformation in their life. Like you said, maybe not something practical like how they cook an omelet, but they do have a transformation. Uh, what is the actual mechanism that truth has on transforming the human psyche? Yeah, <clears throat> it's quite simple. Um, first of all, there's two sides to this that I would address. One, don't expect transformation. Say, in other words, don't people expect, okay, I'm not going to be human anymore. I'm not going to be myself anymore. I'm not going to have all these mind things anymore and all these character traits. Not true. You will have exactly what you have now. You see? And so if you work for enlightenment so that you can free yourself from that, yes on the one hand, no on the other. Because as a human, what you've crafted will remain. You will still be a human. You will still walk and talk and think and emote. The, but the transformational aspect is that at some point you won't be that anymore. Okay. So now how you relate to that now is different. And so changing it becomes much more possible. Because if you're not it, you can change it. You still have to change it. And now also, as, as far as I can tell, just in my own experience and in the experience of people I've watched, um, <clears throat> some things fall away right away. You know? Why? I have no idea. Uh, I'm Okay, that's not true. I do have ideas. <laughs> but I really don't know. And, um, you know, you, you, you become conscious, directly conscious, you know, of something, and then... Some things are just gone. Some reactions, emotions, you know, ways of thinking of yourself or whatever, just gone. They just go. Others don't. See? And then perhaps you become more deeply conscious and some other things go. But primarily, the whole function of being human will remain. And that's something you have to change deliberately, The, uh, you know, should you want to do that. See? Look at any enlightened person or legend of enlightened persons, you see, and kind of look and study them. There's always a character there, isn't there? See, there's a person there, and they're different one from another. See, they don't all like, they get enlightened and they become this one kind of thing, you know, like that, right? No, there's a character, because there was a character there before they became enlightened, you see? And so they are now acting through that character, they will remain acting through that character or change the character. That also happens, you know. So you can become a different character, but you do that purposely, you know. See? So um, the, the enlightenment, what it does is give you the uh, consciousness or understanding, if you will, that you aren't any of it. You aren't the character. You never were the character. You aren't the thinking, the emoting, the reacting. You're not any of it. 